Hello, YouTubers. Um, yes, I am back with another video. I've been kind of crazy about uh, uh, uploading videos. Um, today I'm kind of, I guess, excited. been experimenting with some eyeshadows and things you could do with them, and I thought I would share with you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this first one out of the way. I came across a video last night. I said, let's DIY your own um, drill eyeliner, which I have never experienced using drill eyeliner before. And you know, I just figured I'd give it a shot. Um, I know in the video I've seen you use this jelly. I always call it Vaseline. But you can call it whatever you want. Um, and you also use black eyeshadow. This one's kind of, it's called Black Pearl. I got it at the dollar store, Black Dollar. You know, I've seen gel eyeliners at Walmart and places and it's kind of expensive. And at the time, I wasn't really willing to spend a lot of money on gel eyeliner. So, I figured why not give this a shot in. I really don't care too much how it came out. Maybe I did something wrong across the... I was trying it. At first, it didn't come out of the store. Like it just looked really light. The second one came out a little bit darker because I added more. Um, I didn't do it exactly the way she did. Um, and on the video, she used a plate and a spoon and just mix it all together. She actually scraped eyeshadow off of a cheap eyeshadow palette. Looked like she something came from a Dollar Tree. Um, put it on a plastic pay and mix it together. I know I used just a plastic bag. Because for one, I don't have a container to put it in. I know one of the things she's mentioned I didn't do is to put it in the microwave. Kind of thought to myself, don't Vaseline melt. So I was kind of iffy about doing that. So kind of got it on this. So I have to wash it. Um, I did try another experiment last night. It was eyeshadow and nail polish. Just let me wash my hands. There we go. Um, I actually... The nail polish was initially clear, but it's a um, triple part gel strengthener because I really didn't have any other Top coats are um, clear nail polish except for this. And I actually, what I did, I used a cup like this. Just poured all the clear nail polish in it. Okay. And I took a toothpick. No. Well, what I did, so after I put the nail polish in here, I took some eyeshadow out of this. I actually took the gold color and just used a nail file. All those um, Medicare kits, the metal cheap ones, got all that out of it and just put it in this cup, mix it together, trying to mix it really well. So if you don't, not a lot of the stuff I noticed after I poured it out, the eyeshadow pal powder shook to the bottom. So you make sure you um, stir the bottom like really good. Now I'm sure it's not that hard to put it on um, 
YouTube because I just happened to came across it that I didn't look it up and it came out with this color. I don't know if you can really see it. Clear. Now I kind of got happy with the way it came out. And it came out like a gold color but like most nail polishes I basically had to put two coats on it because the first coat I put on was like really lot and third thing I absolutely love doing you know you see a lot of people on YouTube melting and using crayons for lipstick but you know the other way I like to do it I've never tried the crayons I've tried eyeshadow and I absolutely love doing it this way is you use eyeshadows go like all kinds of different colors if you got an eyeshadow that you absolutely like or you want to do something for Halloween just pick a color you want and I didn't get a brush I will be back. I didn't think about getting a brush. Oh, got it. Um, well, what you do is you get a color of your choice, and I am going to go for. Silver. I am gonna go for blue. Just put it on. I actually tried the black one the very first time I did it. And frankly, I liked it better than my Halloween black lipstick. Because I know those eyeshadows, sea colors are about endless. Oh, I saw people talk about the crayon ones. And it's actually more healthier than regular lipstick. So I know the Corolla, Corolla, how you pronounce it, is non toxic. Next step I like to do is to use a clear lip gloss. Which this one's it may look a lot and it's got glitter in it and but it'll show up clear. I need to get rid of this one anyway. But you can put more on until you get a desired look you want. That's probably what I have to do. Put a little bit more on. Feel a sucker fall. That is 
this basically, but yeah, it's... You don't have to waste money for one special occasion. No, if it's for Halloween, you can basically use the eyeshadow for mostly anything. It's gotta be creative. Found it on YouTube. I'm sure there's stuff out there how to use more eyeshadow stuff. Just open your mind to the world of makeup. So I've got one other lip tutorial I'd like to do in the future. But I'm not going to do it in this one because it'll take a lot longer than I want. So maybe look forward to it down the road. It's probably like one of my favorite lips. Look in the mirror and try to look at the phone. Um, it's kind of hard. So I'm going to extract it myself. It's one of my favorite lip looks. I'll show you down the road. Don't know when, but thanks for watching. Subscribe. Thumbs up, comments, or things you do with your eyeshadows. So I like to hear it or see videos. So I like experimenting and learning new things, especially when it comes to makeup. Thanks for watching. Bye, YouTubers.